What up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Managing Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Schultz. Brian, Blade. So we touched on this, Brian, and there was rumors about this. The rumors seem to be getting a little bit more concerning that it might actually be true about where they're taking Blade and his story. I was talking to Tracy about it, and he seemed to agree with some of your same remarks uh, regarding Blade being second billing to another character in his movie for the purpose of setting up something else down the road. Brian, what are your thoughts on this? And I have to ask you, could you think of a possible good, not necessarily a, a whole storyline, but what could, how would Blade or could he, Blade be portrayed as sort of a father figure in this instance, um, having a, a daughter that he has to look after? So coming soon has this has this scoop. And I'm a little confused because there was a prior iteration of the story that you're alluding to where we heard Blade's daughter was at the center of it. And that was the one that had Mahershala as like, I think they said he was like the fourth build character in his own movie at that time. Yeah. So I don't know if this is like a fuller leak of that now defunct story, I would think, or whether this story has been brought back to the top with the new writers who, as we kind of were hopeful the other day, Michael Green, who was behind uh, Blue Eyed Samurai is now rewriting this. But coming soon's report was that British actress Mia Goth would play the demon sorceress Lilith, who would kidnap Brielle Brooks, who is Blade's daughter. And that would launch Blade into kind of a rescue mission to save her. And that that would sort of be the the centerpiece of the movie. But obviously, if you're gonna do that, that that probably leads you to, you'd have to probably have flashbacks or scenes showing the relationship between father and daughter. And and I think a lot of people are also looking at that and saying, well, is Brielle Brooks really the lead of this movie then? Or if she's not, is that the character who's going to become Blade going forward? Is this another like young Avengers, like kind of young character they're trying to slip in there? And Mahershala is there as the name to try to sell tickets, but he's not actually the vehicle for this franchise. God, I hope not. This, this is a guaranteed failure if this is true. Guaranteed failure if this is true. Do you think this is another Riri Williams situation with, with, with them putting in a character that really doesn't need to be there? Or, uh, I don't know. I mean, we, like, we this is the are... first time I've ever heard of this uh, daughter, and I'm pretty sure she's been in the comics, but I'm an avid yeah. uh, uh, a comic book reader uh, to, to know that. But so are the people who've seen Blade the movie and perhaps not read a lot of the comic books have seen him in Spider-Man. The, com uh, uh, the animated series and, and, and there were some movies but never any mention of a daughter this would be something new Brian and I don't know if that newness is going to be well received no I can tell you right now it will not be well received I mean I think this is my understanding is this character was introduced into the comics relatively recently like within the last five years, uh, maybe even more recent than that. Uh, so this is not like a, they're pulling a storyline that's been part of Blade's heritage in the comics for, you know, decades here. Yeah. Um, and with all the smoke that's been around Mahershala Ali's departure, I am struggling with the idea that he sat in the room, heard this as the idea and was like, yeah, I'm back in. Yeah. Well, likely, if, if, if this is actually what they're doing and they don't want the egg on their face of him just cut and running outright, this then smells of, we will cut you a massive check to do yeah. this one movie 
but the movie's just going to set up this girl as your successor and you're one and done as a day wow if that if that if they were to if they were to do that brian why bother why bother that's not that's not a that's not a cinema that's not a movie that's a that's not a blockbuster it's not a blockbuster movie here's the thing brian if i'm a herschel ali and he probably wants to fund his own movie this is the way to get the bag to fund his own movie to do something that he probably really wants to do and wants to fund, do it all himself and, you know, reap the benefits of that. Yeah, no, you're right. Like we, we have, look, we have another example of someone who is playing a part, finished her contract, finished her role and clearly don't want to be there. And that's Dakota Johnson and Madam Webb. So maybe, <laughs> maybe Marshall Lee is following that playbook and said, I'm in too deep. I got to do this one, but give me a story where I can get out on the back of this because yeah, I ain't doing another yeah, one. That, that, I don't know. Yeah. I don't but know because he's I, too good for this. He's too good for this. Yeah. He needs to just go, man. But I'm saying, mm-hmm. obviously, this story was not this. We know that there was no story when he and Kevin struck a deal in 2019. But could you imagine if Kevin picked up the phone and was like, yo, I got, I got the, I got like, they, in the show, the bear was Sydney and her dad. I got the thing right here. And it's you and your daughter and Lilith. You bring your two Oscars over here. Come on, man. He would never have said yes to that. Nah. No nah. chance. It was all said that first time when we saw that um, announcement. It was written all over their faces that this, nobody knew what the hell they were doing for this movie. They just knew that Mahershala Ali was Blade and that's it. And then he says something in at the end of the Eternals, right? It's like, damn. But this is, I, I, this is gonna be, this is gonna be interesting, Brian, because we have said that we don't think Mahershala Ali is gonna do, is gonna last. Do you still think, Brian, that Mahershala Ali will star as Blade? The other piece of information, and I know it's a small one, I know some people are gonna say it it doesn't matter. But you know, Bob Iger on the most recent Disney earnings call is talking a lot about their futures calendar, future movies. He's talking about Marvel. You know, he mentions Brave New World, which has already largely been shot. He mentions uh, Fantastic Four, but he didn't mention Blade. And he didn't mention Thunderbolts, but he did not mention Blade. After everything that this project has been through, he didn't even have a word to say about it coming in the future. I think that's ominous. I don't know what that means, but I still think it's ominous in terms of, not that any Blade project gets done, but that this one gets done. It just strikes me that they're, you know, maybe he's not, maybe he's, maybe he's gotten this story and is like, wait, what? No. He, he, Brian, he doesn't believe in, 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 in what they're doing with this, this story because there's no story. Nothing yet. After all this time, there's nothing yet. Why talk about it? Why give, the, give people the expectation of something that really hasn't been thought through? Because then you'll be doing... Uh, I'm sorry, but you'll get, we're, we're on the, 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 the same path that Black Adam was. 10 years. Yep. Five years, yo, have passed? And nothing? Just rewrites, rewrites, and, and non-starts. That's why I think it's so, ominous, because like you could say, like, well, he didn't say anything about Thunderbolts, but I'm like, well, they only mentioned Thunderbolts pretty recently as a movie right. idea. Blade has literally been around since before Avengers Endgame as an idea and with a lead. I'm sorry. Like that's for the CEO of the company to be have. Look, last time we saw a CEO of a company basically censor a big name project was David Zaslav Lock. Go back to his transcripts. He acknowledged every other project they had for DC. He did not mention that project. We heard rumors he was not happy with it. They reshot so much of it. It was terrible. And th- this story is not exciting anybody. Anybody. 
Brian, what do you think is the problem with writing a Blade story? Comparing it to Brian, like what is the threat, right? What, are you going to turn everybody into vampires? What are you, what are you going to do that has us in suspense that Blade has to stop this, right? That hasn't already been done, Brian. Right? Like what? This is one of them with the with the daughter stuff, right? Obviously, right? But yeah. it, I can see the difficulty. But we have already mentioned that they should make it a period piece, right? Well, that was one of the other ideas. Period piece, he fights Dracula. That one was the one that supposedly had no action in it. So they scrapped that. All you had to do was just put action in it. I, I, keep, I keep harping on this, and I'm going to keep saying it until someone actually pays attention. You're overcomplicating, and we are seeing this everywhere. They're overcomplicating this in my... Like, do you not understand the essence of what makes Blade entertaining? Sorry, it's not his family. Like, newsflash, it's not. It's Like, honestly, like I said, if you're going to use the family as a motivation, then import the ideas that were in blue eyes samurai michael green that has a family connection but it's a yeah. it's a it's a revenge mission yeah and it's a very simple revenge mission it's linear and it makes a lot of sense and it has a lot of cool action along the way that's all you need that is all you need i, I didn't you know there was even talk i think that lilith was gonna by the way that was the other thing i think lilith was supposed to wield that sword that black knight is holding at the end of eternals so they were they were really gonna just remove that from the, the canon. But just I think that, just keep it simple. That's like my advice for like I, I know people are worried about the number of characters in Superman Legacy, but I really believe James Gunn's gonna kind of keep it simple when it comes to relationships, the key things he wants to focus on. With these characters, I said the same thing about Brave New World. Why are there so many characters? Why are there so many things running? We don't need it. Keep it simple. The world doesn't have to be at stake in order for us to enjoy a good story, right? Yeah, but you have a you have a two time Academy Award winner as your lead. Why do you want to be coming up with twenty seven people with lines in that movie? Don't you want him to cook? Yeah. Like, what is he there for? If if he's not to be the heart and soul of that film? So to me, like the daughter. Like, yeah, you need a villain, but it's like you start introducing all these co-leads and it's like, I want to see Mahershala give us his rendition of Blade. He's up against a high standard. I can see the difficulty, but let's see what they do, man, because uh, this is certainly an important character that um, you, you, you cannot um, mess up because it's been done well before. You, you're competing with that. There's no way around it. So let us know in the comments below what you guys think, and we'll see you next time on the Gem Report. The show goes on! Yeah!